Welcome to Puppetize Children's Church. Chitter, 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 chitter. So, so what's going on this week? Chitter, 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 chitter. Chitter says he's getting a little bit tired of doing school online because he can't see his friends very well and it's really, really hard. Gonk. Oh, does Garrett agree? Gonk. Oh my. Forky. Yeah. Oh, Porky says yes, some really nice teachers, and, and Porky, 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 and they always help him with stuff. Oh, you have some really nice teachers, and they're helpful, and they're working hard. Chitter, chitter, chitter. Chitter says his are too. Garrett, do you like your teachers? Gong. Yeah, you like your teachers. Yeah. Gong. I think so. All the teachers I've seen online for my kids have been working really hard. They've been really nice too. Chitter, chitter, chitter. Yeah, we've been trying to work. We've been trying to work all summer and now fall on finding good things because there's a lot of bad stuff going on, but there's a lot of good stuff too. Chitter, chitter, chitter. Well, in our stories, the apostles had the best teacher of all. Gunk. Yeah. Gunk. Jesus. Gunk. Yeah, they had Jesus for their teacher, but. But in our story last week, Jesus went went to heaven to be with God, and they don't Gunk. have their teacher anymore. Yeah, well, I know you've been playing Jesus this whole time. Garrett really likes playing Jesus in our stories, but but Jesus isn't in our story Gunk. anymore. Um, are you willing to play another part? Gonk. Oh, well, you know what? I think we can find a way to put Jesus in our story today. Is that okay? Gonk. Okay. We'll do that. We'll do that. But Jesus has left. And Go. the, I know, and the apostles, they're probably kind of worried and scared and trying to figure out how to do this all by themselves. And that's going to be our story today. What's going to happen next? All right. Porky, can you give us our memory verse? Pork, 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 porky. God gave us a spirit that gives us power in the Second Timothy 1.7. God gave us a spirit that gives us power Gong. and love. Second Timothy 1, 7. Chitter, chitter, chitter. Uh, chitter wants to know if we have a song for that. Yes, we do. God gave us a spirit that gives us power and love. Power and love. Power and love. God gave us a spirit that gives us power and love. Second Timothy 1, 7. Power and love. We need to work, look for those two things in our story Gong. today. Gong. Yes, Garrett's got it down. Power and love. Cheer, cheer, cheer. Yeah, good job, Garrett. Gong. All right, so so Garrett, do you have a song for us today? Gong, 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 gong. Garrett says he likes fruit. He likes fruit. Oh, and, and our memory verse had spirit in it. Should, should we do fruits of the spirit, Garrett? Gong. Does that, does that seem like a good song to you too, Porky? Mm, more. Okay. Okay. We haven't done it for a while, so that, that would be good. So so what's the first fruit? What do you want for the first fruit there, Garrett? Gonk! Pineapple. Pineapple? Do you like pineapple? Gonk. Oh, okay. Well, do you think we can do actions and stuff with this song with the puppets? Uh -huh. The animals? Hmm. Well, we shall see. The fruit of the Spirit's not a pineapple. The fruit of the Spirit's not a pineapple. If you want to be a pineapple, you might as well hear it. You can't be the fruit of the Spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and Chitter wants to do walnuts. Uh, walnuts aren't a fruit. Chitter, 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 chitter. Chitter thinks we should change the song so that we can do walnuts. Um, all right. <sighs> the nuts of the spirit are walnuts. The nuts of the spirit are walnuts. If you want to be a walnut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a nut of the spirit, because the nuts are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Chitter, chitter, chitter. Uh, 
you say so, Chitter. Uh, Porky, would you like to choose a fruit for the third verse? Mm, Porky, Porky? Apple? Apple? All right. You can always count on Porky to choose something that's less difficult. Thank you, Porky. <laughs> the fruit of the Spirit's not an apple. The fruit of the Spirit's not an apple. If you want to be an apple, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, cause the fruit is not joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Hey! No joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Chitter, chitter. Chitter, 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 chitter. Ah, Chitter says he will be playing John again. All right. So we've had lots of stories about Jesus all year long, but Jesus has gone up to heaven now, and the apostles are alone. But before he left, Jesus gave them some instructions, which is what good teachers do. They give you directions, right? And Jesus said, Gong, 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 gong. Yeah, to the apostles. Sorry, oh, and there's Peter there. We've got Peter and John here. He said, don't leave Jerusalem. Wait for the gift that God has promised, and you've heard me tell you about it. Hmm, so he told them to stay there. And so they did. All right, Garrett, thank you for your little bit of a- Gone! Yes, Garrett wanted to get to you. <laughs> so they did. The apostles stayed in Jerusalem, and there were some women with them, including Jesus' mom. Jesus' brothers were there, and a whole bunch of other believers, about 120 people that were staying there. Well, the first thing they did was they prayed. They prayed all the time while they were together. And the second thing they did was Peter said, Work, 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 work. He said, we need to choose a new apostle because you remember that, that Judas, he betrayed Jesus. And so he wasn't an apostle anymore. And so there were only 11. He said, we should choose a new one. So they prayed about that and God chose Matthias. And Matthias was somebody we don't know really anything else about, but we know he must have been with them the whole time and he knew all about Jesus. And so now we have 12 again, which made them happy, I think. And then they waited and they prayed a lot. And it says, the day of Pentecost came. Hmm. Pentecost was another Jewish holiday, and it was a day when they would celebrate the harvest. They would celebrate that their apples were ripe, and their olives, and their wheat, and their food, and that they would have plenty of food for the year. And so that was a good reason to have a holiday, wasn't it? And lots of people had come to Jerusalem for it. Now the believers were all gathered together in one place, and suddenly a sound came from heaven like a strong wind blowing inside the house. It filled the house. It was like, like hearing a tornado inside a house. Yes, it sounds like it was pretty loud. It filled the whole house where they were sitting. And then they saw something that looked like little bits of fire, like little tongues of made of fire. And the flames separated and a little bit of fire went on top of each one of them. Wow, was that a little bit scary, John? Chitter, chitter. It might have. It might have been. Would that have been a little bit scary, do you think? I don't know if it was or not. It doesn't say it was. But they had those little bits of fire on them, and all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit, and they could speak in languages they hadn't known before because the Spirit let them do that. Wow. What? Did you have a question? Yeah. She wants to know if she was in there too. You know, it says earlier in the chapter that Mary was with them, and it sounds, it says that they were all gathered together, so I think you at least saw it, Mary. Squawk, squawk! Mm-hmm. So all of a sudden they could speak all these new languages, which was a good thing because there were Jews from every country in the world there. And we've got two, let's see, Kaylee and, and is it Beeve? Beep. Yeah, they're Jews from other places. There were Jews from Africa, and there were Jews from Europe, and there were Jews from Asia, and they all spoke different languages. Kaylee, huh? where's Did Kaylee? Kaylee? Yes, Kaylee's here too. Uh oh, 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 you're getting you're getting caught there. Okay, there Kaylee, you go. Kaylee. No, 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 get along. 
They were there to celebrate the holiday. And they could hear the apostles and the others speaking in all these languages and they could understand them. And so the crowd people said, Me, 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 me. What does this mean? What's going on? But some other people in the crowd said, They said, they said, these guys are crazy. They're just, they, they don't know what they're saying. There's blah, 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 blah. They're not really saying anything. Well, Peter was there and he stood up with the other apostles. And do you remember whenever Jesus was being tried and people asked, asked Peter if he knew Jesus and Peter said no and then the rooster crowed? Peter wasn't very brave then, but this time Peter is going to be brave because it says God gave us a spirit that gives us power and love. Peter has power now. And he stood up and in a loud voice he spoke to the crowd and he said, Fork, 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 forky, fork, 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 forky, forky, fork. My friends, my Jewish friends, let me explain this to you. Listen carefully to what I say. We're not crazy. No, this is what it said in the Old Testament. In the prophets, the prophets said that God would send his spirit on everybody. And Peter also said, Fork, 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 forky, forky, fork, 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 forky. He said Jesus was a man that God approved of. God did lots of miracles through Jesus. You know about this. Long ago, God planned that Jesus would be handed over to you and you would kill him and nail him to a cross. But God raised him from the dead. Death couldn't hold Jesus. Jesus didn't stay dead. And Peter also said, Fork, forky, fork, 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 forky, forky, fork, 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 forky. God raised Jesus back to life, and we all saw it. Jesus has a place of honor sitting next to God, and he's gotten the Holy Spirit. This is what God promised, and Jesus sent the Holy Spirit on us. You can be sure that you nailed Jesus to the cross, but God has made him Lord and King. Paul, Peter probably said lots of other things too, but those are the most important bits. When the people heard this, they were very ashamed. And they said to Peter and the other apostles, Me, 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 me. They said, What should we do? Because they had killed the king. They had killed Jesus. They had killed God's son. And they were very upset. And they said, What should we do? And Peter said, For forty, for four. He said, You must all turn away from your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus. Then your sins will be forgiven. And you'll get the gift of the Holy Spirit too. And this promise is for you and for your children and for people who haven't been born yet. Everybody God will choose. And Peter said lots of other things to them. And you know what? Lots of people believed him. 3,000 people joined the Christians that day. They were baptized and they became Christians and believed in Jesus. Beeb, did you, did you believe in Jesus now? Beeb. And Kaylee, are you one of the people who decided to believe in Jesus? <laughs> Yeah, more than 3,000 people in one day because God gave us a spirit that gives us power and love and those apostles, they have power now. They, they know that Jesus is helping them. Well, the Christians studied what the apostles taught them and they shared their lives together. They ate together and they prayed together and the apostles did lots of miracles and the Christians shared everything too. They shared their money and their clothes and their food, everything. Every day they met together, every day they ate together, and they praised God and the people respected them. And every day, more and more people became Christians because God gave us a spirit that gives us power and love. So they had love for each other. And when everybody saw that, they wanted to be Christians too. They wanted to learn about this because they could see their love. Choo -choo. Yeah, we had a happy story today, didn't we? Yay! We'll have some sad stories, but today we got a happy one. Even though Jesus left, he sent some instructions and he sent a helper and it all went really well. All right. Chitter, chitter, chitter. Chitter has a question. Chitter, 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 chitter. says in this story, the Holy Spirit looked like little tongues of fire. Chitter, 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 chitter. And Chitter wants to know if that's what the Holy Spirit always looks like. Chitter, 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 chitter. Chitter wants to know if he should go look for tongues of fire, so he'll know where the Holy Spirit is. Hmm. Chitter, chitter, chitter. And Chitter wants to ask Mr. Kevin. All right, shall we go ask Mr. Kevin our question? Chitter, chitter. 
and then we will come back and do our craft. Oh, Chitter, hi. Chitter. Hey, Chitter. Chitter, Chitter. Hey. Chitter, Chitter, Chitter. Good to see you there. How are you doing? Chitter, 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 Chitter. Chitter wonders what you're doing. It took him a while to find you today. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm out here in the apple orchard. I was just looking for birds. Chitter. Yeah. yeah I noticed that some birds have been eating some of our apples. And Chitter. I was just wondering what kinds are out here. And I've seen different kinds today, but I'm especially looking for doves, but I haven't found any doves yet. Chitter, Chitter. Yeah. Chitter, 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 chitter. Yeah? Chitter has a question. Oh, oh wait, that means there are kids. Where are the kids? On the apple tree. Oh, there you are. Hi, kids. Hey, everybody. Well, what's your question, Chitter? Chitter, 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 chitter. Today in in Children's Church, we're doing the story of Pentecost, and the Holy Spirit looked like little tongues of fire. And Chitter wants to know if that's what the Holy Spirit always looks like. He wants to know if he should be going around looking for tongues of fire so he'll know where the Holy Spirit is. Chitter, oh, Chitter. <laughs> that's a great question, Chitter. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, the Holy Spirit looked like fire that day. You know, one other time he looked like something different. Chitter. Usually, usually the Holy Spirit stays invisible. Chitter. Yeah, yeah, Chitter, you Chitter. can't see him. Yep, Chitter. yep. But one time he looked like a dove. Just like the kind I'm looking for out here, but I haven't found any yet. Yeah, he looked like a dove. That was the time when Jesus was baptized. And the Holy Spirit came down on him in the form of a dove. Yep. Pretty cool. And then God spoke to Jesus too. So the Holy Spirit has only looked like something maybe two times that I can think of. Uh, a dove and then fire in the story from Pentecost like you are talking about. Yeah, and I think the reason is... Uh, he wanted the disciples to know, and, and when he was a dove, he wanted Jesus to know that something very special and unusual was going on. So for Jesus, when he was baptized and the Spirit came down on him like a dove, he wanted Jesus to know and wanted all the people to know that this was really special, that Jesus was baptized and he was beginning to, to really start his ministry and serving God and teaching the people and stuff. And then when the Holy Spirit came as fire, he wanted the disciples to know that this was really special. God was giving them power through His Spirit so they could teach people about Jesus too. Yeah. So I don't think it would work for us to look for the Holy Spirit every time we find fire. Yeah. Because the Holy Spirit lives inside God's people now. And you can't see Him. He's invisible. Yeah. But if He wants to look like something, He can. Yeah. And when I'm looking for doves out here, I'm, I'm not really looking for the Holy Spirit. But when I see them, I like it because they help me remember the Holy Spirit. Chitter, 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 chitter. Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, help yourself to an apple chitter. If you chitter? want one, they're, they're, they're almost right. Hello. This is today's craft. As you can tell, it makes me look really good. Yeah, so it's a fire thing, and you cut it out, and you color it. Not in that order, of course. And then you get a white piece of paper, or a red piece of paper, or a piece of paper, just like this one here. And you size it, on your head of course, not on your foot. Mm -mm. And then you staple that fire thing to the white piece of paper, or the red piece of paper, or just a piece of paper. And then you have a fire hat. And it has your memory verse on it. Yeah. Okay, we're filming. Okay. Hi. What am I saying? Um, that your craft of the week is a oh, Holy Spirit headband. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.